welcome back my dear student of class 8 so after a long year uh, today i have decided to uh, complete the very second chapter from your english textbook so we are doing tsunami so you already completed part 1 tsunami and you already know what is tsunami uh, tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by the earthquake under the sea uh, we already discussed what had happened on 26 december 2004 uh, in Andaman and Nicobar Island, we already discussed some uh, stories of the courage and survival. So, uh, today in this video, I'm going to discuss the second uh, part of this story. Uh, in the previous one, we did uh, um, the story uh, of India, Andaman and Nicobar Island. So now, in this part, we're going to discuss the story of Thailand okay and the story of a girl the name of the girl is Telly Smith okay let us look Telly Smith a British schoolgirl, was able to save many lives when the tsunami struck Phuket Beach in Thailand though she has won a number of awards her parents have allowed their daughter to be interviewed on television and made into a heroine why do you think they took that decision okay so Taylor Smith uh, was a brave girl she was from Britain or British she was a British school girl she was a school girl so she saved a many lives when the tsunami hit Thailand on 26 January 2004 so due to her bravery uh, she has won a number of awards but her parents um, have not allowed their daughter to be interviewed on the television they doesn't want to make him uh, make her a heroine okay why do you think they took such a decision so this goes to you okay you uh, think the answer and write it down and throw me uh, send me through the whatsapp okay so let us start the story of Thailand and the story of a girl, Taylor Smith. Now here is a story from Thailand. The Smith family from Southeast England were celebrating Christmas at a beach resort in Southern Thailand. Taylor Smith was a 10 years old schoolgirl. Her sister was 7 years old. Their parents were Penny and the Coney Smith. Okay, so here we are going to discuss the story of the Taylor Smith who was from Southeast England. She was uh, celebrating Christmas at the Phuket Bridge uh, in Southern Th Thailand. She was a 10-year-old schoolgirl. She uh, had a sister of 7 years old. Her father's name is, was uh, Penny and the mother name was Connie Smith. And she was a schoolgirl. Okay, Telly Smith was a schoolgirl. So, in it was 26 December 20, uh, 2004, deadly tsunami waves were already on their way. They had been triggered by a massive earthquake of northern Sumatra early that morning. Okay, now on 26 December 2004, due to the massive earthquake on the northern Sumatra early in the morning, deadly tsunami waves already on the way. Okay, so the tsunami was about to come there in Thailand when uh, when there was a massive earthquake of northern Sumatra earlier that morning. That morning means at the morning of 2000, uh, 26 December 2004. The water was swelled and kept coming in. Penny Smith remembered the beach was getting smaller and smaller. I don't know what was happening. So now what happened? The water was swelling and keep coming in. The water was coming in. Okay, and the Penny Smith, uh, her father remembered that the beach was getting smaller and smaller, but they don't know what was going to happen. But the Daily Smith sensed that something was wrong. Her mind kept going back to geographization she had taken in England just two weeks before she flew out to Thailand with her family. Okay, so what happened? Uh, uh, let me read the next part also. Taylor Smith, uh, Taylor saw the sea slowly rise and it started to form bubble and form uh, 
whispered. She remembered that she had seen this in the class in a video of a tsunami that had hit the Hawaiian island in 1946. A geographic teacher had shown her class the video and told them that tsunami can be caused by the earthquakes, volcano and landslide. Okay, so before Christmas, okay, she had learned about tsunami in her geography classes. After learning geography, she flew out to the Thailand with her family for celebrating Christmas. So she could sense something was going to happen. Or she could recognize there was a tsunami was coming because she already learned in the geography lesson about the tsunami. Her geography teacher showed, uh, showed her a video of how the tsunami hit Hawaii in 1946. Her uh, geography teacher told her the tsunami can be caused by the earthquake, volcano and landslide. So that's why she was able to recognize the tsunami. Uh, she was able to recognize what tsunami was coming. Tilly started scream at her family to get off the beach. She talked about an earthquake under the sea. She got more and more uh, streakle. She said her mother Penny. I don't know what a tsunami was, but seeing my daughter so frightened, I thought something serious must be going on. So what happened when she sensed um, or when she see a tsunami uh, or when she had a sense a tsunami was about to come, she started shouting. Her parents understand her. Um, her parents did not know what was uh, going to happen, but luckily all they uh, could sense is something worse going to happen after looking at the daily daily shouted there because she already recognized the tsunami was about to come so she screamed or she shouted and seeing her daughter shouted her parents uh, got frightened and they thought that something serious must be going on daily parents took her and her sister away from the beach to the swimming pool at the hotel. A number of the tourists also left the beaches with them. Then it was as if the entire sea had come out after them. I was screaming, run! The family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel. The building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves. If they had stayed on the beach, they would have been alive. The Smith later made other tourists who had lost entire family. Thanks to the daily and her geography lesson, they had been reward, uh, forewarned. Daily went back to her school in England and told her classmates her terrifying tale. So what happened? Seeing Daily screaming, everybody left the beach and ran towards the hotel and take shelter in the third floor of nearby hotel. Her sister was also taken by her parents to the safer places. So. In this way, Tilly saw her bravery and everybody was saved because of Tilly Smith. She was rewarded by bravery. When the Tilly uh, shouted, run, 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 everybody, a number of the tourists left the beaches. If they, uh, if they were there in the, uh, in the beaches, they could have lost their lives but it was because of the daily smith or it was because of the geography lesson or it was because of her geography teacher who told her the tsunami can be caused by the earthquake volcanoes and landslide is it because of her daily was able to save a number of the people in the Phuket beach of thailand are you getting my point or not Okay, so this is the story of this Taylor Smith, who was a brave girl, or she was a school girl. Okay, so here is a comprehension check. You can do it by yourself. And the next part is part three. So here, um, here we can uh, we are going to read a very interesting fact of animals and the birds. It is believed that birds and animals have six sense they can able to know about forthcoming natural disaster they have a sixth sense means uh, incursion uh, 
as we already know human beings have five senses but what is sixth sense sixth sense means what your inner voice tells you about the forthcoming creatures that is your sixth sense so animal have a sixth sense they can able to know about the forthcoming natural disaster okay so let us see before the giant waves slammed into the coast in india and sri lanka wild and the domestic animals seems to know what about to happen they fled to the safety according to eyewitness accounts elephants screamed and ran for higher grounds dogs refused to go outdoor flamingos abandoned their low lying breeds area and zoo animals rushed into their shelter and could not be enacted to come back out so so here what happened before tsunami approaches approached into the coast in india and sri lanka wild animal started screaming okay so they already know about something is going to happen animal started running towards the safer place um, people of the particular area saw an elephant running from the higher higher ground and they started shouting dogs refused to uh, get out from their homes flamingos abandoned their low lying breeding areas and the zoo animals rushed into the shelter and could enact it to um, come out or to come back okay so this is the activity of the animals animal already know what is going to happen next okay they have a sixth sense so that's why the they started uh, running they started shouting they started uh, going to the safer place the birds started flee to the safety places okay so many people believe that the people possess a sixth sense animal possess a sixth sense and know when the earth is going to shake some expert believe that animals more acute hearing helps them to hear or feel the earth vibration they can sense an approaching disaster long before the human realize what's going on so actually many people believe that animal have a sixth sense and they know the earth is going to suffer by some natural disaster and according to some expert they believe that the animal uh, know that thing from the vibration of the earth before human so the human re realize a long before than animals animals can sense an approaching disaster before the human realize what is going on okay so we can't be sure the animal have a sixth sense or not but the fact is that the giant wave that rolled through the indian ocean killed more than uh, one uh, 150000 people in dozen country but not animals have been reported dead so it is not clear that whether animal have sixth sense or not but it is the fact when the giant wave hit the indian ocean one 50000 people in a various country reported death but not as many animals have been reported death this is because of their sixth sense along india kudal or coast where the thousands of the people paris buffalo goats and dogs were found on harm so in india also when the tsunami hit the coast of um the coast of kudalar the thousands of the people dead paris means dead but the buffalo goats and dogs animals were found on harms the yalla national park in sri lanka is the home of the varieties of the animal including elephants leopard and 130 species of the bird 60 visitors were washed away from the um, patangala beach near the park but no animals carcasses were found except for two water buffalo after an hour before the tsunami hit people at the yalla national park had observed three elephant running away from the patangala beach so there was a beach uh, there was a park in sri lanka named yalla national park it is the home of varieties of the animal including uh, elephants leopards and the many 130 species of the bird were there but 60 visit visitors near the patangala beaches inside that park was stabbed by the tsunami but no animal carcasses were found there that means no animals dead body were found except two buffalo 
among all the animals only two buffalo were swept away by the tsunami but the remaining animals remained unharmed okay and uh, before the tsunami hit the people notices that three elephants running from the patangala beaches to save themselves animal hide themselves they have a sixth uh, organ or the sixth sense they uh, save themselves but they when they sense something is going to be happen they hide themselves from the danger so that's why no animal carcasses were found except the two buffalo when yalla national park was hit by the tsunami in 2004 A Sri Lankan gentleman who lives on the coast near the Gale said his two dogs would not go for the daily run on the uh, would go for the daily run on the beach they are usually excited to go on this outing he said but on the day they refused to go and most probably said they are sea life so what happened a Sri Lankan gentleman who have um, two dogs they usually go to the run daily on the beach but at that particular day when the tsunami hit uh the beach they refused to go to the beach and that's why the dog saved his master's life and himself so that's why he, this is the uh, story of animal who can sense natural disaster long before long before the human beings okay i hope you understood the lesson if any confusion you can contact me and complete the fear and send the homework through whatsapp in my personal number thank you very much